Okay. Right on. I'm Daryl Hell from Sector 6 Communications. Uh, we were doing teach-ins with some of the early organizers, the original organizers of this march or this occupation. The whole point is to really understand longevity. So once you can get past the idea that this isn't just a one-day event, you have to think about A, how to extract the money from the system so that way they'll be forced to capitulate and at least to address some of our demands. Simultaneously, we're coming into an election year, which is really important because now none of the politicians feel comfortable at where they're at. So eventually, they're going to have to come to some of us. Now, the Democrats are already coming in, just like the labor unions, who had all this money, and they couldn't organize anybody, but a handful of young students organized people all around the planet. Now they're trying to actually take the kind of the unions are coming in, trying to take over the movement, trying to use it for their own devices. Now, everybody understands that the 99% doesn't fall into Republican, Democrat, black, white, you know, or you're dealing with the idea that it's monetary. The people on the top control most of the resources, which does not allow people to move forward. We, will, we refuse now to allocate money towards education, towards elder care, and really, if you look at those just two things, if you don't take care of your young people, you're not going to give them any motivation to do anything in the future. And if your young people are watching how we treat our elders so poorly, what's the motivation for them to do anything? So the people in the middle, like us, we just kind of get screwed. But like, you know, if we could take care of those two ends, to me, that's true equality. But we can get there, certainly, if we think forward, not towards this election, but towards the goal of what we're doing. Just like back in your day, getting out, of, getting out of Vietnam took a over a decade.